squad to today's strength and skull push workout in which we're targeting the chest, shoulders and triceps, all the front pushing muscles of the body within this strength, tone and sculpt session. It's two sets for each exercise and we're trying to hit that 8 to 15 rep range. This is really a sculpting based workout that you can go back on and try to progress over time, especially if you're looking to target those certain areas. Then we're going to go into a pull workout, then our legs, lower body, glute session, okay? So for today's workout, all you need is your dumbbells, kettlebell, barbell, whatever you're using. If you have access to a bench, go for it. If not, you can perform it on the ground or seated. So the first one is two sets of chest press, okay? Then we're going into one arm neutral press and then switching. It's two sets for each movement. 20 seconds of recovery, 40 seconds of work. If you need to get the warm up in, go for it now. 15 second countdown. Let's push through this here together, okay? Love these style of workouts. Right, three, two, one, let's go. Say, keep the form solid. Easy work. Good. One down. Hard to go. So it's chest, shoulders, triceps, all the front of the body. And we're trying to hit that target range with that 8 to 15. Okay? Let's go again. Oh, march for reps. Dig deep. Lovely, okay. Up onto our feet. We're doing our one arm press, okay? Let's drop the weight for this one. One arm presses, right? Try to go that heavy enough weight. That's all I got. Keep going if you have it. Okay, three, two, one. Ready for the opposite arm now. Okay, ready to go. Three, two, one. Second set, all sort. Okay, good, that's the end, two done. 
Now we're into close hand push ups. Okay, you can go chest with a part, or you can go diamond grip push ups. It's up to you. Diamond grip push ups or close hand push ups. Remember, you go at your own pace. It's you against you. Ten seconds. Go on. Five, four, three, two. One, good, I'm feeling it. Ready to go again here for the second set of these push ups. Three, two, one, let's go. This is like a chest, this is a chest shoulder, I'm trying to say exercise this one. few reps, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, sweet. Right, the next one is a dumbbell push out. Okay, so you're holding the dumbbell, the kettlebell, whatever you're using, you're just pressing right in front of you. Chest burning. So you can hold it like that. Or you can hold it like that, where you're sort of crushing in, pressing out, and then eight to fifteen reps. Let's go another few. That's not easy after doing push-ups. Go on, five, four, three, two, one. Good, we've got our set of them, and then we're moving in till our side lateral raises. What session? Go on, 15 seconds. Dig deep, north you. Five, four, three, two. One, good. Okay, side laterals. Side raises, target levels, delts. It's mad how tough it can be when you're just solely targeting on that specific area. Normally our body's used to going from upper in the lower or in the push-pull legs. This is just an extremely effective way to build up those target areas. Whether it's the pushing muscles, the pulling muscles, back and bicep, or the lower body, legs, glutes, hamstrings, quads. Right, let's go 10 seconds. Go on, five, four, three, two, one, lovely. Our set.
Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen seconds, come on. Now ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely squad, okay. Last one of the round, overhead tricep extensions. You can do it standing, you can do it kneeling. I'm gonna actually do this seated just on the edge of the bench, just up over the top of the head, okay? You can go two weights, you can go one weight. It's up to you. Go on, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. One more. One more set. Right, we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Go on, 10 seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. On real work squad. Grab a drink and then we're going to move into our next step of pushing exercise. Okay, team, moving into round two. We're going to kick it off with our chest flies. Now, you can perform it on the ground or you can perform it lying back on the bench. Either option is perfect. I want you to focus on good form. Now with this movement, I do recommend to go sort of lighter because it is a stretch. You don't want to put too much strain, okay, on the chest. Okay, focus on good and controlled form. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, comfortable stretch. And then back up again. Ten seconds off recovery. We go again. Okay, let's go. Feel the burn in the chest. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Next one is standing front raises. Now I give you two options. You can go alternate and one arm at a time, or you can go both arms, like that. Okay? You'll need a lighter, lighter weight for this one. Or you can go with one heavier weight with both hands holding it and raise it out to the front. It's entirely up to you. Right, let's go. Got it. A few of the two. It's not easy. This is like high intensity strength training basically. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Ten seconds. Go again. Keep digging. Go on, ten seconds. Last few. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do skull crushers now. Once again, you can do this lying on the ground or lying on the bench. Tucking the elbows in tight, cut them down. Press it up, you can do it with one dumbbell or you can do it with two. Okay. Elbows tucked in tight. Come down. And up. Slow control. Good work. Brilliant. Okay, get ready for the second set. Feel the pump. Right, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Keep pushing. Ah, feeling that in my light weight, that is tight going. Perfect. Okay, the next one, check my book, is going to be pipe push ups. Body weight movement. Brilliant from the choke, the shoulders, the chest, and the triceps. You can already talk, body burning. Right, where we go? Hips up high. And down and up. Okay. You can still do this on your knees. Just keep the hips up high and come down. It's one of my favourite bodyweight exercises, this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, feeling it. 
chest, shoulders, tricep, burning. Let's go again with these pikes. If you really want to make this even more difficult, feet up on the bench and do your pike push ups. Let's go, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, our next one is something different. It's called a steering wheel. You're gonna hold the weight and you're gonna steer it like so. It's just gonna be a pure burner. I don't even know what weight I'm gonna go this way. Okay, you're just gonna hold it. You're gonna steer like that. It's actually hard to grip this dumbbell. Oh, I can hardly even do it. If you need to go light, go for it. If there's too much pressure on the shoulders, just try to hold it like that, okay? For as long as you can, then you can drop it and then go again. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Let's go. Try getting our few reps. Squad, I can hardly do that. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, even if you just hold the dumbbell out as long as you can, that's gonna be good enough because it's just putting time under tension. It's what I want this exercise to be. Although it's a lot harder than I expected it to be. <sighs> Especially at this stage of the workout. Maybe fresh wouldn't be as bad. Right, let's go again. Let's try a few stairs and then I'm gonna hold it out. Fifteen seconds. Come on, team, let's go in our few. Three, two, one. That's what it's all about. You see me struggling. As hard as it is, we're in this together. Right. Tricep dips to finish. If you have something to lean up against, okay, I'll do it on the edge. Of a bench. If you haven't got anything, what you can do is go one arm overhead, tricep, and then switch to the opposite arm, okay? But I'm just gonna go here with dips on the edge of the bench. If it's too hard, bring your legs up and in like so. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. It's mad how the body weight exercises is always the most difficult. But that's for a good reason because they're super effective. Three. Two, one, let's go. Oh, let's go. Fifteen seconds. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squad, that's one of the most difficult workouts 
I think that we have done the dead. My entire upper body, the front of it, the chest, shoulders and triceps are burning. What an incredible effect the session that is, especially if you're looking to shape, sculpt and build more strength and tone throughout that part of your body. We're then going to do the same thing for pull or back and biceps and then for leg day again, okay? So that's one of those sessions now that I want you to go back on, especially if you're looking to target those areas. Try to go heavier weights, try to beat your last rep ranges. Bring the intensity, progressive overload is the key. Tag me in your stories and make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know how you got on with the session, if you found it as tough as I did. Keep up the incredible work and I'll see you on the next Warrior Squad workout.